Hello guys, Cyber Dragon here, and welcome to part 2 of what I think I had the Berserker Armor. Now, before we start, I will mention again that my work schedule for will be changing drastically. I'll be working mornings, and it's a full-time job, so it will be a lot, so... It might, so I will take a couple of days again like this every now and again to record But I should still have more opportunities to record depending on how I am Weekends I can still record pretty much any time But weekdays I will still try to record So this will not change the habits of my recording but still I need time for me at times and I hope you all can respect that. Secondly, so, uh, so, I figured I would show you guys the next few what ifs that might be coming out sooner or later after a few of these what ifs end, just as Agnologia will end tr not shortly, but since ever we see Agnologia as an all powerful guy. It's relatively safe to say that this will end quickly. And secondly, I will continue to Parasite What If soon. So that is an upcoming What If I should get some support to at times too. That, and I've noticed Omnitrix has not been doing so hot. I really like that What If, so if you guys won't mind, you can check it out, but... I'm not telling you guys what to do. Now, let's begin. So, we start after all of that ass kicking. Deku went to the beach and meet up with All Might with to tell him the news. He found his trigger for his quirk. Deku walks down to the beach. And All Might is there. Ah, young Midoriya. You ready to keep training? Yep, and I got some good news, All Might. Deku thinks about his trigger. Bakugo. The abuse and him getting angry and turning into the Berserker armor, then de-transforming de after thinking calm thoughts. You found out how to use your quirk. Yep, the trigger is activated by anger, actually. Anger. How did you make this discovery? Deku's thoughts. Shit, I can't tell him what happened, or he might not help me train. Oh, um, uh, well, I was playing a video game and I kept on dying, and then I got angry and turned into the armor. Well, you might need to work on your anger, but I guess it works. What was the game you were playing anyways? Uh, Dark Souls. Uh, yeah, I smashed my TV when I was playing that. Not my most heroic action. No, I get it. I did the same. Well, now, we can start your training with your quirk as well as your body. Alright, so they train. First, they train Deku's body with the same cannon stuff. Moving trash and whatnot. And then when Deku did a decent amount of cleaning, they tested his quirk's strength. And found that it gave him a power boost. And then used by the armor for a while. But the And that's when he's using the armor for a while. But when... Deku D transforms and he told All Might and when he started to feel nothing but rage, it was getting hard uh, and to get harder to control the armor. So, and I thought we removed the downside of him losing his vision, touch, and other stuff, his senses basically. And the rage, however, it's Multiply. Right. In that case. Hmm. That might be a downside of your quirk. That, 
That and not the healing. Yeah, the cover girl did say it was the uh, it was stated, so many, maybe the longer I wear it, I, and the more the armor it can, armor itself takes control. Hmm. Then you, then you will have to use it in the most serious of circumstances. But we will. For now, train you and it to see if you can get any better control out of it. Yeah, I agree. Oh, maybe only use a small amount of turns, but let's keep training. And so they do. After a while, you know, you know the whole Bakugo thing, no one wants to mess with Deku at school. And Deku continues to clean the beach. And to train his quirk, both at the same time. Alright, young Midori, you can go home for now. Alright, All Might. So, after some time, Deku got home, but is met with Inko. This is still the same day or so. So, as soon as he gets there, he meets with Inko. Oh, hey, Mom. Izuku, do you mind telling me why Mitsuki called about you beating up Katsuki into the hospital? Fucking. Um, well, what happened is he challenged me to a fight and I did. I went a bit overboard. So, Izuku, you know you shouldn't do that. You and Katsuki's are friends and. No, not friends. Never friends and he we never will be he made my life a living hell so so while he was my childhood bully that not friend he gave me the name Deku and made everyone harass me for years and years all because I was quirkless you would ask why I would come home all booze and cut up? It was all Bakugo. What? Every injury I have gotten at school was from him and his goons. And others that would join in, in the fun. Izuku, I, I, I didn't know. I, I, I'm so, so sorry. I, I should have seen the signs. I, 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 I'm as Inko starts to cry, not feeling guilty, but no, no, it's not your fault, Mom. As Deku hugs Inko, it's all in the past, and the memories are all acts as fuel for my quirk now. That's the bright side, please. Your quirk? You you figured it out? Yes, it activated with anger, and I've been training with it. Who's helping you? Oh, no one uh, special. I've been researching and practicing. I've gotten a no down practically. Well, okay. J just be careful. I will, Mom. I promise. So, good. And who knows, if you get muscle enough, you can maybe track a girl and say, you get yourself a girlfriend. Deku is slightly butch. Uh, thanks, Mom. But I doubt that. But what's for dinner? Katsudan. Yes! So, with that, it's been 10 months of training. Bakugo, for the first month, was in the hospital. But when he got out, he returns and stays away from Deku. And he's more pissed and trains harder. But Deku gets down to cleaning the beach after only nine months. I figured the, the, the quirk itself 
Deku has been influencing him more and more every time he uses it, and even outside. Small mounts though. So we have a Deku that changes his personality more resembling guts, but still have Deku. Who's action. As we get to Deku, breathing heavily. Wow, I'm all done. Yes, and look at you now. His body is a bit more defined than in canon. Since so he take his training a bit more seriously. Well, I want to say, say since his quirk so, so training also involved body training, it did help mix. Wow, oh, I didn't expect this. And he's been more confident too. Oh my, thank you for helping. As much as you have, it means a lot. Of course, young Midoriya. Now, for your reward. Oh, right, one for all. So, how is it passed down? Like a ritual or something, or... Eat this! You gotta be kidding me, right? You need to have some of my DNA, and let it digest. I mean, if you want some blood or spirit or... Nope, 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 nope. Hair is fine. Hair is fine. But... I can't tell if you're serious or not. If this is some joke... Actually, that would be funny, but still, I'll be pissed. A Deku takes a hair? Trust me. It was the same for me. Yeah, who gave you one for all? As Deku eats the hair. Oh god, it's bad. Uh, Nana Shamor, and mine was... Interesting, too. Uh, she was killed by an awful one, wasn't she? Yeah, Deku in this one has actually been informed about awful one Nana Shamor in the past uses a little bit earlier than in canon. Since All Might saw Deku as more of a threat to all for one, and since his quirk would do, well his quirk is berserk, it could definitely so it's coming to handy. Yes, she was. Many of the users was killed by him. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all fine, but now you won't have to worry about him. Why? I've dealt with him. I believe him. Oh, well, alright then. Now, just give it some time to digest. Alright, then I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. So, time skip to the next day. With Deku back at the beach, seeing All Might. All Might. Ah, oh, good, you're back. Yeah, so, um, what happened now? Easy. Throw a smash. What? Throw a smash. That's it. Set. Okay then. Set. Yes. So Deku does the uh, one hundred percent smash, but it does the same stuff as in canon by breaking his arm. Ah. Fuck. Ah, uh, young Madoya. Uh, I forgot to mention, you need to feel the power all throughout you. You could have told me this earlier? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, God damn it. My arm is broken. We can bring you to UA. Sure. Damn, we need to get my arm fixed now. Don't blame me this. I'm blaming you on this. So, they head to Recovery Girl's office. And Recovery Girl has some choice words. You idiot Toshinori. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. Both uh, Deku and Recovery Girl. Clearly. But thanks for fixing my arm, Recovery Girl. No problem. But you should be more careful. Uh, this isn't my fault. You just told me to throw a smash. That's it. And you listened? He's my teacher, isn't that what I meant to do? And all my gi 
Get a teaching book for God's sakes. Okay, okay. Then the door opens up. Keep it down. I'm trying to sleep. As Zekisha looks at a clock. It's 12.23. And? Well, I can't disagree with you a lot of still. Wait, do I know you? Yeah, uh, some... What? I tripped over you a few months ago when I first left this place. Mm, you have to be more specific. I've done that to a lot of people. Um, uh, you told me I had a cute face. Told me I, I was taking my first baby steps with my quirk. Um, that's it from our previous encounter. Oh yeah, cute face. Something's different. As Chloe gets up to him. New haircut? No. As Chloe grabs Decker's face, is all okay. Hmm, finally going through PBD? Well, I guess you can... I guess. Can you let me go now? Mm, no. Why? You have a cute baby face with all these new muscles. Well, I'm flattered, but seriously, let me go. Hmm, why? As she gets real too close to her, as her chest is pushing up against Deku's now. Deku's thoughts. Okay, well, the old me would probably have a panic attack, so stay calm. It's because... Uh, because it's uncomfortable that a stranger is touching me, like, the way you are. Thoughts again. Let's see if this makes this skin back off. As he just has his eyes glow red. Yes, Deku's eyes can glow red. I figured that'd be a cool thing. Hmm, cool. Your eyes are like mine. Her eyes are still blue, but when Chloe, Aizawa, okay, still the daughter of Midnight and Aizawa, our OC character for this what if, her eyes are blue, but when she, but she can also turn her eyes red, or whenever she, she's using her quirk like Aizawa's is. Shit. Hmm, cool. Thoughts again. Okay, let's see if this makes her back off. But can you do this? As he turn he has his berserker arm on. Aw, now it's cold. As she gets off him. Is she really not afraid? As Deku turns back. There we go. So now, can I get your name? From what I've heard, if it's Chloe, right? Yep, I'm Chloe Azawa. Hmm, Aizawa. You mean a razor head starter, I'm assuming? Wow, well, cute and smart. Not many people know my dad is Racer Him. A uh, Racer Head. I don't even know him. Yes, well, I'm a hero nerd. I'm a I'm lot of useless stuff and useful stuff about heroes gathering their. No, I can be great at trivia though. Hmm, nice. Uh, someone yells, Chloe! Uh oh. As Midnight bursts in. Oh boy. As All Might just hides behind Deku. Um, hi, Mom. Why do you, I keep telling you, you can't sleep outside of a covered girl's office? Oh, but it's comfortable around here. But not as comfortable as I am right now. Uh, she's laying next to Deku. What the fuck? Seriously, you can't quit it? Mm, no, you're one. As Midnight just looks at them confusingly. Jesus Christ, so the daughter of a racer head in Midnight. That's a combination I didn't expect. Trust me, none of us did. So, are you dating my daughter? What? No, your daughter just decided to touch me and doing what she's doing now. Hey, what's up with your broken arm? Shit, think of something. I used a berserker arm and 
and I threw a punch. My body couldn't handle it. I broke it, but I didn't notice it until I took it off. Hmm. Then where's the holes? The break wasn't that bad. You're a bad liar. This kid, you trying to? Oh look, a cat. As she points out the window. Oh, there you are. As she goes, Chloe goes up to the window and picks up the cat. Let's turn the subject. Your pet, I'm assuming. Yeah, but now the real test. As she pets the cat, sir, on his chest. What the? What test? As she pet, he pets the cat. As the cat meows. She loves you. You're my friend. We're friends now. Um, okay. Thanks. Oh. Well, come on, Chloe. Your father is waiting for you for training. Before the entrance exam. Alright. As Chloe picks up a cat. Uh, have fun. As the curly girl starts to heal the arm. There we go. Back. Now I can get back to my training. Right. And I've been thinking. You're using one for all along. Jeez. Whose fault do I think that is? Well, using one for all like your armor. Like my armor? You don't just put it in one spot, do you? You have to let it all around you. I'm an idiot for not thinking that like that. But I see what you're talking about. You're also stupid for not... Yeah, I like that. Well, I could use 100% when I was... When I first got it. Uh, I really didn't... I really didn't need to get teach on how to use it. And Deku body can only handle 10, maybe 15%. It's fine, but how much do you think my body can manage? I thought my aunt can handle 100%, so my whole body can. Your current level is most likely at 15%. Hmm. Sick. Well, okay then. Come on. Well, I still have a month to train with all one fall. Yes, then you get to see Chloe more. Um, yeah, she's a stranger one, but she seems nice. She needs a little personal space, though. No, I know. What the fuck? How long have you been here? Hmm. Not sure. As she gets into the covers, and when he looks inside, she is gone. What the fuck? How? I ask that myself every day. So, with Deku training, he actually learns how to use full cow. And, well... But he hasn't used one for all with the armor yet. Because, well, they already suspect that the armor would do something with one for all. Something drastic. And he still has the green lightning. For now. But, Deck is also honestly too scared to. And inside of one for all's users can see, in the distance, a giant red thing of pure hatred, anger. And that thing is Deku's quirk. So they don't really want to Deku to combine the armor and the quirk one for all together yet. Or at all. But now it's the day of the entering exam. And Deku uh, does decently in the few tests he does. And the written tests he does very well. Oh, since he did have some time to study as well. He does a little above average than in canon. Not much, though. So. And that mic explanation, really nothing happened. 
So he's now. So but we asked you before that. Stand, he's standing outside of the gate of UA. Huh. So I actually did it. Hmm. Oh, let's show them all who's with us now. As Bakugo bumps into him. Out of the way, Extra. Shut up, Bakugo. Or do you want to spend another month in the hospital? Wait. What happened? Who? Deku? And what happened to Kachan? Don't tell me you want me to call you that after all you... You always hated that name. It is a nickname I only give to friends. And we aren't friends. You said that yourself. Whatever! Good. Keep walking. As Deku's eyes glow red. Bakugo was honestly scared and just walks inside. Right, and due to his hatred, he does... He doesn't pay attention and he trips. Fuck. Umanaka tries to get him but fails due to him walking a bit faster than he did. So, Deck do as he catches himself. Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I tried to catch you and. Nah, it's alright. Thanks for trying though. Ow. Uh, why is he lying on the ground and sleeping back? Huh? Oh, hello, Chloe. Yeah, I, I was sleeping around the school after all this time. Well, the test was about to begin, so you want help or are you good? As Chloe lifts her arms up, carry me. What? Carry me inside. Um, are you two friends? Yeah, sort of, I guess. As Degasha looks down at Chloe, you really want me to pick you up? Did I stutter? <sighs> Fine. As Degasha picks up Chloe and puts him on his back. Her back is warm. Don't you dare go to sleep on my back. And she fell asleep. <sighs> Degasha, she's actually pretty cute. When she's sleeping... What? What? No! Focus! Focus, damn it! As they just head inside. Midnight and Aizawa did see the whole interaction. With Midnight and Aizawa now... Oh. My. God! They're adorable! Calm down, Namura. Don't tell me to calm down! Okay, okay. So, is that the boy she's been daydreaming about lately? I think so. But she also day also daydreamed about sleeping. Okay, so she picked up my habit, but why out of all the boys she ever met or the ones who's trying to hit on her, etc., she never showed to so much interest in. But except for that one guy. But why is she interested in this one now? Me? Plot. Midnight now. I asked that when I started daydreaming about you. <sighs> Alright. But if he picks, uh, I will fucking meet him up. I'll hold the. So, oh, if, she, if he breaks her heart, I'll hold the fucking down. Okay, maybe we should stop and head inside. Observation room. And do you have a drops before and as you get our heads? I already had that before. Okay, let's go before Chloe does appear disappear and trick. So yeah. Observation room, Deku, test score, above average cannon. Now the mic explanation. Hello everyone! Welcome to UA entrance exam. Yeah! Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, as Mike explains the robot, alright, for that, wait, huh? You only explain three robots, and when the handout says there's four, 
Um, well, and you, as Ida points at Chloe, who is sleeping. Hey, man, just let her sleep. She ain't doing anything wrong. She has to take this seriously, or she just leave and stop interrupting me. Deku's eyes glow red. You're the one who's interrupting everyone. Yourself. Sir. Righteous asshole. Now, sit down or sh or before I make you. As Bak uh, Deku, uh, not Deku, uh, Ida is actually quite terrified. And sit down. Good. Well, thank you. The fourth robot is. If someone didn't interrupt me, it's just an obstacle. Just something to avoid. Now. Everyone, head out to the uh, to the training grounds, and remember, go beyond plus ultra. As after the mic explanation, Deku shakes Chloe awake. Hmm. Oh, I'm not done sleeping. The test is about to begin, so wake up or I'll steal your cat. Huh. Fat chance. She's right here. As she, Chloe pulls the cat out of his shirt. With, if you're wondering, the cat is named Jesse. I don't know why. Just someone in Discord wanted that. Good, you're awake now. Let's go. As he gets up. Also, what field are you in? Mm, I'm in field C. I'm also in field C. Good, then you can carry me and Jesse. <sighs> why am I even doing this? Come on, you know you like it. As Deku feels a purring on the back from the cat. And Jesse likes it apparently too. And I don't like it. Thoughts? Do I like it? Yeah, right. I don't. Yeah, and I. That's silly. Oh, yeah, right. And I don't have a fine ass. Uh, shut up. And these are pokes with cheek. Good baby face. Uh, quit it! Why? It's uncomfortable. I've had a total of uh, two interactions with you, and the third. And you're making me can you, and you're poking my cheek and touching me like we've known each other for years. Just calm down, alright? You're no fun, but fine. And she just looks down. What's wrong? Nothing. And she gets down and walks off. Maybe I was being too harsh. <sighs> Fuck. Why is this so, stuff is so complicated? Because this is a what if Deku. They head outside. And Chloe is nearby the front gate. And Deku said, Maybe I should say I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that harsh. He tries to go up, but Ida stops him. What do you want? And so he's, he's staring at her, and I know you're going to ruin her chances. Dude, get out of the way. No, move it, or I'll, as the gate is open, fuck. And Deku just push Ida to the side and runs in. And Chloe swings in. Hey, they're cheating. Nope, they got the right idea. There's no countdown on real battles. Everyone went then after hearing that. As Deku is running, he sees a bunch of robots and Chloe using her scarf, swinging them around and, and destroying each other. Impressive. But I have two options one fall or berserker armor. Hmm, so uh, let's use the actual quick I have on. Registry. I wouldn't want to bring unwanted attention now. As Deku transforms into the Berserker armor, running up to a posted meter, ripping it out of the ground with concrete with it on it too. As he's running at a robot, he uses the meter as a mace, smashing the first robot head from above. Then the second, he swings it 
added hitting hits the two robots that are about to hit him at once. He swings it several times up, sending several up in the air, only to jump up and hit the other robot with the concrete that is attached to it. So, there he lands on the ground and the mace on his, with the mace on his back. And that's 20, less than one minute. And all that was happening with Chloe was watching, and she never actually seen the Berserker armor in action before. She was impressed in what she was seeing. As Zeki continues to smash the robots in the monitoring observation room. Well, this is very interesting. Sir, 20 minutes, 20 points in one minute. Yes, and there's about 15 minutes in these tests. I must say, oh my, the boy you've been training is very impressive. His quick is very fascinating. Yeah. And he's not even using one flaw. What is his quirk? The Berserker armor. There, and as I should explain the full detail, we already know what that is. So, what do you think, Azawa? He has potential, but also aggression. So, well, he's very aggressive. As the, the current screen is showing, the cement actually broke off the posted meter, so he's now just using it as a spear. That would be the it's the armor itself. Anger and hatred increased it. That could be a problem. Yeah, but if we can train him to continue in that, he can be a great hero. I agree. I would rather him having a hero than a villain. But this means to me to wonder. Why does young Midoriya have so much anger and hatred in the first place? I don't know, but we can check with him on the first day. Very well. They continue to watch as Deku jumps on a three-pointer and ripping it apart, going inside of it and tearing it up on the inside, then bursting out of it, having a makeshift sword he made out of the innards of the robot. With the posted meter he had. Deku sees more robots coming and he decides to decapitate five at once with the makeshift blade. As he would continue to destroy all robots in his path. Deku would scare several other contestants and they would want to forfeit from the test and stay away from him. And another few forfeited from the test. Hmm, figured if they can't handle seeing him like this, then how can they handle real villains? I agree. Hmm. Maybe we should use him for a test for the others too. Yeah, maybe. B? But now, I think it's about time for the zero pointer. So, Deku, who is just finishing up tearing off the head of a zero-pointer, starts to hear rumbling, to look up to see the zero-pointer, starting to smash some buildings. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. So... But as he sees that, he sees Chloe's trying to save Umaraka, and but is about to get hit by some debris. Oh, Chloe did get. Okay. Help! Izuku, you can handle the robot, I'll save the robot. Huh. <laughs> Right. So Deku runs at the robot. Uh, the zero pointer swings at Deku and Deku dodges. 
running up to zero upon his arm. But with Chloe, she got Umaraka out of the rubble, and when the zero pointer misses a swing at Deku, hits a building, drops some rubble at Umaraka and Chloe. Umaraka throws Uma uh, Chloe throws Umaraka out of the danger, but a piece hit him right in the head. Chloe. As I was getting flashed rather when Orbito got hit like that from the vigilante manga. But Deku seeing this in the corner of his eye is pissed now. So, out of rage, he uses both the armor and one for all. <sighs> As now, instead of the usual green lightning, it is black and red lightning that's barking around Deku. And inside one for all, the quirks go... Uh, the quirk goes to the past user, with Nana Shamo and the other users. What's happening? His quirk, he's using one fall and his quirk at the same time. So, so, and what they're seeing is something that, well, we will get to later in another part. But, with Deku, lunges into the air while using 100%, with, on, with on one swing, he destroys the zero pointer. And somehow cuts it in half with a... Blowing it up, and Deku fell to the ground, but got back up. Everyone did see his arm was broken and mangled. But it fixed itself. As everyone is shocked and horrified to see his arm is backwards, but popping back into the right place by the armor, twisting it, Deku was walking up to Chloe. Then he looked down to see the unconscious Chloe. Deku drops the makeshift sword he had carried on him and grabs. Chloe and put him over his shoulder. Her over his shoulder. Walking to recover the girl, and on the way, Chloe can see Deku's right arm is bleeding profusely and leaking out of the armor. And Deku got to recover the girl. Young man, come here quickly! As Deku exhales steam and puts Chloe down, Deku points at Chloe. I'll tend to her as soon as I stop your bleeding. Deku just points at Chloe. Fix her first. Fine, but put her on the bed. Deku does. And when she is done with Chloe, now you! As Deku de transforms and immediately passes out due to the pain. So Chloe, uh, so Min, the so RG, a recovery girl. Puts him on the table, and since the bones were already in place, she just had to heal him. And quickly. After everything was said and done, All Might, Nezu, Aizawa, and Midnight ran down to her. Phew, okay, now they need to rest. <laughs> oh my god, is Chloe alright? As Midnight hugs Chloe. Mm, um, cut it out. So, no, do you know how afraid we were? Worried we were? I'm fine. I'm more worried about Izuku. I only caught the end of it all, but he picked me up. Yes, well, he practically does. We and priorities apparently, and wouldn't let me fix him until he I healed you. Really? That's so. Uh, as midnight interrupts. Sweet. Dumb. As Chloe was about to say. Maybe, but it saved you for one killer headache. But he's fine. Luckily, the army put everything back in place and I was able to use my quirk. Well, I'll thank him when he wakes up. Yes, I would recommend that. But I'll call his mother and tell him he... He to stay overnight due to his injuries. And 
and his state. And you, as Recovery Girl Lux said, Nezu. Seth. As she said, bonked him on the head. I keep telling you this would happen. Seth. And she almost died. And he is in so much pain because of your stupidity. I know, but I don't care. Ah, whatever. Well, I think we should tell them now since if, after what happened. As uh, all my stuff left. Ha <laughs> ha, Chloe, you have been accepted into UA. Yeah, yeah, but what about him? Oh, he's definitely into UA. He's actually beaten my score. So, don't worry, you'll crush a gat into UA. Okay, I'm going back to sleep. As she just got into her sleeping bag and fell asleep. <gasps> she never denied it. He, she, she had a crush on him. Although, I don't think she cares. Yeah, let's go. So, they left Chloe and the recovery girls up the night. And Deku was still there too, sleeping, until he woke up late at that night. Uh, what happened? And he looks next to her to see Chloe next to him on a chair. Fuck. As he holds his arm. Shit, that hurts still. Good, she's not too bad hurt. hurt. Uh, she's just... Dozing, she's been asleep. Hmm. Cute, but. Hmm. Recovery Girl did a nice job. Barely any scars. Hmm. Hi, you up now? Uh, yeah, I am. How are you doing? Alright, I guess. Hey, I wanted to say sorry about before. The test that was a bit before the test that was a bit too harsh, so sorry. Oh, it's fine. I just never really had a friend before you, so sorry. Oh, no, it's fine, but no way, same here. I never had a friend, in, but it's because I was. No. It's not because I was an asshole or weird, it was because I was quirkless. Hmm, well, I'm sorry to hear that. So is Jesse. As she holds Jesse up and she out. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we can be good friends. And maybe even best friends, since we never really had friends. Yeah, but I should be heading out. Oh, and you got into you at 1A, same as me. Oh, nice, I got in. Yeah, well, I'll see you next week. Yeah, see you next week, friend. That's Chloe. Oh, and before I go, what? Uh, she goes up to Deku and kisses him on the cheek. Okay, then. Well, that was all. As, come on, Jesse. As her and her cat left. As Deku was left there blushing. Well, this was nice. As he fell back to sleep. End. I hope you guys like this part. And, uh, next part I will be doing is Parasite. So, see you all next time.